Sanitization allows you to protect your user's private data while at the same time recording their actions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that using our tracker's default behavior or adding some special HTML attributes to your code. So let's go. But before we get there, remember that password fields are never captured, that you can't really change that, that is the default behavior. Credit card fields, on the other hand, are part match. That means that if we detect that you're entering a credit card number, we will sanitize it, otherwise we won't find it. All sanitization is done at the client level, which means that if you're sanitizing a piece of information, that data is not going to get recorded on the session. And finally, if you want to change some of this default behavior, you can use either global configurations or HTML attributes that we provide. If you want to know more, check out our documentation. Let's start with the example now. The application I'm going to be using for this example asks for private information such as a password, credit card information or even an address field and then it'll display them back to you, the user, once you click on the save button. As you can probably imagine, while that might be the expected behavior of the application, we do not want that data to get recorded as part of the session replay. So I'm going to show you different ways in which you can mask or even remove that data from the recording. First, go to the project setup page and then decide if you're going to be using the NPM package or the script to add the tracker into your application. If you're using the script, you can configure the sanitization global configuration through this screen. Those checkboxes and the option menu will change the script that you will have to add later to your application. So be mindful of updating it. For this example, I'm going to be using the NPM package. So I'm just going to copy here the lines that I need and add them into my project. First, I install the package. And now I just go back for the code and I add them to the, to the application. I'm using a Next.js application here, but you can find on our tutorial section of the documentation how to integrate the tracker with any other frameworks available. I'm also going to be using here the disable secure mode flag so that I can test the application locally. Just be mindful that if you do, some CSS might not be translated into the recording. Don't be scared if that happens, just publish the application and then test it again. The inches point actually here, I'm just showing it, but I'm not going to use it uh, because I'm using the SAS version of Opera Replay. If you're using a self-hosted version, you're going to have to set it up here to point to your inches URL. But for this example, I'm just going to remove it. Now I'm going to test the application to show you exactly what happens with the default behavior of the tracker. Now, a few minutes after closing the tab, I will see the session recording on my sessions list and I can just click on the play button to review it. In this recording, you see the default behavior of the tracker. You see that the email field that is already repopulated uh, by the autocomplete of the browser is already masked. The password field, you don't see anything. However, I did enter it and the credit card number is masked once uh, it reaches a certain length. But as a result, you see that the password data is shown and the credit card data is shown as well. However, the email, which is being detected by the tracker, is being masked automatically. So we do need to add extra masking if we want to keep that information secure, even though by default, some of the fields are already being tackled. To do this, we'll go back to the code and we will add first one global configuration, the obscure text numbers flag, which will try to hide as many numbers as it can find within text elements. Now, be mindful though, these are not include input fields. As you'd see, as part of this replay, I am adding again all the information and the email is going to get masked automatically. The password is not going to be shown and the credit card number is again going to be masked once it reaches a certain length. However, the address field is going to be completely shown, uh, including the number that I enter. However, once I click on the save button, you will see a difference from before. 
the number within the, the street is masked as well as the credit card number that is caused by the global configuration flag that we just added however the password is still shown and most of the address as well we need to find a way to mask that information for that we're going to be using the html properties available from the tracker so let's go back to the code and we'll add the html mask attributes to uh, both the text fields that we want to mask consider that we're using this attribute because we're dealing with a complex react component so we can't really mask the input field within it so instead we'll use the html mask attribute which will remove the whole component from the recording and to hide the pieces of, the, of data from the response we will use the mask attribute inside a span element that we'll add to signal exactly which text elements from the page need to be obscured within the recording now if we go back to the application, test it again, record the session, and then go into the session replay, we'll see that the recording has changed. We no longer see the uh, name field and the address fields. Those have been completely removed from the recording because the tracker is completely ignoring the HTML for them, thanks to the masking attribute that we're using. And a similar thing happens uh, with the text notes that we see below. Those are still there, but their content is completely obscured thanks to the attribute that we used. And that's it for sanitization. So remember, our tracker will by default sanitize some of the data. And if you want more control, you can either change the global configurations or add the special HTML attributes that we provide to have more granular control over what gets sanitized when and where. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to us on our Slack channel with the link in the description. And until then, see you in the next one.